Hello everyone, my name is Qing He Liu from Information Science and Engineering Department of Southeast University in Nanjing, China. It is my honor to show our work about regional delineation based on a modularity maximization approach. Please note that this paper is a joint work with urban planners from School of Architecture. This piece show the outline. I will explain our work from six following aspects, including motivation, baseline, challenge, methodology, experiment, and our conclusion. Regional delineation is the task to divide the urban area into several geographical regions in according to principles of urban planning, which is critical to urban policy formulation and infrastructure construction. For the convenience of urban planning, the population flow in the same region should be as dense as possible. However, the traditional method of urban planning used to rely on a lot of plant power and material resources. Therefore, how to use information technology and computer tools to achieve scientific results of regional delineation becomes an urgent problem to be solved. As one of the effective methods, community detection technology first transforms the region into a graph structure and then obtains a partition result from the perspective of graph division. On the one hand, this task requires that the geographical behavior range of a specific group of people can be reflected. On the other hand, the cluster structure with higher inner connection density should be found, called it as the community. At the end of the classical uh, techniques of community detection, Lovan algorithm was first used to identify urban community structure to analyze the basic effect. Algorithms like Lovan is to solve the problem of modularity maximization, which is MP hard. Lovan adopts the idea of hierarchical clustering, but for urban schedule, community discovery problems, the key issue of the task is of not the time complexity, but obtaining higher modularity. Because of that, the smallest processing unit of the hierarchical clustering is community. This kind of method is unable to adjust the fine grain structure of graph. Although the node movement strategy has the opportunity to obtain higher performance, it is difficult for process to converge working on a large and complex graph structure. As the no number of nodes with cluster increase. Node movement becomes challenging. Therefore, developing an algorithm that can achieve higher modularity and get stable convergence is what we focused on. A graph structure used in the paper is an undirected graph, and its construction consists of two states, steps. Node generation and A generation. For node generation, the dredge lead partition method is used to generate closely arranged geographical blocks with locations of this station as centers. Each generated block represents a node. According to the deployment principle of base stations, population in the region covered by each base station tend to be even. For A generation, we used quite detailed records to construct graph age. The number of human will be counted at the weight of age. The concept of modularity, noted as Q, is introduced to describe the aggregation effect. Modularity is the fraction of the age that 
fell within the given groups minus the expected fraction if the ages were distributed at random. Networks with high modularity have dense connections between the nodes within communities, but sparse connections between nodes in different communities. Therefore, the formulation is that Given the graph G with the node set V and H set E, we need to get the graph partition C with highest Q. The proposed method for the gen regional delineation consists of two main steps hierarchical aggregation and node moving strategy. In the step of hierarchical aggregation, hierarchical clustering is used to capture the cluster structure of graph. In every epoch, the aggregation gain of each community peers is first calculated. Then the two communities with the highest gain are to be merged until the gain is no more than zero. In the step of node moving strategy, a proposed algorithm will traverse any possible commodities pair and merge them with the highest gain into a new community. Note that the target community can be empty so that our algorithm is able to deal with the situation of community splitting and search for more possible solutions. For speeding the process, we will Presort all nodes within community according to their degrees, which will help algorithm quickly find the target nodes. The raw data of Nanjing, a city in eastern China, is used in experiment. The number of the base station in Nanjing is forty-two thousand and. 730. However, due to the sector phenomenon, the very close base stations may cover the 360 degree run together. Therefore, the original base stations can be merged based on a certain small radius. Number of base stations after merging process is 11,000 and 813. Court records are separately counted according to different time range. The urban region is classified based on the administrative division of Nanjing, China, and the modularity is calculated as 0 0.6, which means that the original city has a relatively obverse community structure. The recognition results from our method have a modularity of nearly 0.7. In this paper, we analyzed the entire many time epical areas of Nanjing and the results will provide certain effective opinions for urban planning. In conclusion, first, because of the hierarchical aggregation, selects the optimal strategy in each iteration. When communities aggregate, the effect is better than low one. Second, without the process of pre-sorting, it will be difficult for our algorithm to find the optimal community structure. Third, even with the pre-sorting operation, and the number of nodes in each community increases, the cost of the node moving strategy gradually raises, and its efficacy is still not up to that of hierarchical aggregation. Finally, results show that our method outperforms all baselines. At last, I want to acknowledge my collaborators Zhi Cheng Liu, Ying Fei Xu from School of Information Science and Engineering, 
and Wei Tingxun from School of Architecture. Also, I want to thank my advisors, Junyi, Professor Junyi Yang from School of Architecture and my supervisor, Professor Qiao Wang. This is all my presentation. Thank you for your attention.